just got to Calais because I didn't know whether France would be closed on Sundays because they don't usually like doing anything Sundays so I was worried whether or not the fuel stations would be open so last night brimmed the tank and I went and panic bought two 10 litre jerry cans fill them up as well um, and I had a little British 5 litre 5 litre one as well so I had half a tank's extra fuel in the boot um, just so that I can make it because it was about just under 300 miles so I decided to go that way made it just inside a tank uh, didn't really need that extra fuel but it was nice to nice to have it rather it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it so just got to well, I didn't just got to, I got to Calais about, just gone six o'clock, probably about quarter past six. And the next ferry is until 10 past nine, French time. Uh, so that's me getting back probably about two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, which is a bit turd, but it is what it is. Uh, have been burning oil. So I'm gonna go and double check it again. I had to put a couple of liters in um, and it is a little bit smoky on the right hand side so really the only thing that I haven't done with this engine is pistons out new rings in um, which is a bit of a bit of a job so it's running fine and it's not going mental so it, it's not too bad it'll get me home it's fine uh, but for the planned Germany trip in September which is a couple of thousand miles probably going to need some piston rings <laughs> so so jobs to do jobs to do but yeah all that's left now get on the ferry try and get some sleep for an hour or a bit and then get myself home i'm picking up a new project in uh tomorrow tomorrow morning i'm getting the train down to dorchester and then no it's not down to salisbury where i've bought it and i've left it at a friend's house and uh, I'll be driving that back, so I'll do a short little video for that as well. Um, yeah, I think you'll like it. I bloody do. I think it's cool as. So that'll do us, I think. Le Mans, classic, fantastic. It wasn't a 24-hour race. They had different classes from like 30s to 40s and 40s to 50s and then 50s to 60s and 70s. And then I think it, they capped them at late, uh, early 80s, I think. And they had different classes, so they would race for, I think, about an hour each, an hour and a half sometimes, and they would just run through all the day and then all the night, and they finished probably about three o'clock. And they did that all through each day. <clears throat> so still quite a lot, especially some of the earlier cars, like the Blower Bentleys and like stuff from 
like the 40s and earlier yeah very impressive to see those old cars wanging it round the track um, yeah bloody great weekend great weekend I highly highly advise you get down there and have a look the only word of advice I would say is try and look for a different ferry rather than Dover to Calais it's the cheapest one yeah but yeah it's just wow long Portsmouth to Cannes is a good one it's a longer ferry but it's like a couple of hours drive when you get from um, Cannes to Le Mans a couple of hours tops so yeah I would um if you're taking an older car yeah spend a little bit more on your ferry and, and save a bit on the drive because <laughs> yeah getting here it took me 13 hours holy moly but yeah what an adventure so I'll leave you with that and I'll catch you next time uh, when, I'm, when, I'll, when I'll show off my, uh, my new project to you. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.